Well, uh, it's Rick Casagrande from uh, Eureka Gun Company again, and just want to take this opportunity to explain a few different topics that have come up uh, from our viewers and listeners uh, off our website uh, and Facebook page. Um, so the first thing I want to deal with is the uh, bolt and the uh, barrel extension. It's something we knew but didn't actually adopt was that our bolt is actually traveling and locking inside the lugs. So the lugs are going in and we've had it turning to the right to lock. But the reality is that all Armalite rifle style rifles, actually the bolts lock to the left. So these um, barrel extensions are actually chamfered for the bolt to go into the left to allow for a much smoother um, lockup and extraction. So we're currently looking, this is, this is a dummy bolt obviously, but um, here is the cam slot that, that uh, rotates the bolt um, inside the uh, bolt carrier. And so what we've had to do now is reverse that so it's actually running downhill. And, uh, and I don't know whether it's got to do anything with uh, American left-hand drive and us right-hand drive sort of things, but um, uh, that's just one of the things that uh, we're uh, going to do now to um, actually make the gun even more smooth than it actually is. We've been very surprised that we haven't had any dramas at all with it locking and unlocking that way, um, but we're looking forward to uh, rotating the bolt in the le left direction. Uh, which will help us um, make the gun a bit smoother um, and um, advantage all the shooters who own a Eureka stockade. Uh, the second point that um, I'd like to raise is the, the lever. Now, this is a, what I call a draft lever in that we've developed it, in fact, for my fingers, which are probably middle of the road, or my thumb, I should say. Um, so in the hands of people with much longer fingers, it's a probably 10, 12 mil too long, and um, it uh, needs to be shortened up. But of course, everybody's different. So it's going to be difficult to find the, um, the exact right uh, location for it. But we're working on that at the moment. We're gonna try and find a happy medium. We think that where this block, the, the actual thumb rest sits, is probably where it will stop. Um, and in the future, we will probably look at a form of adjustable lever uh, so that you can loosen and tighten it to, to suit yourself. Some people like the pressure under the tip of the thumb. I prefer it under the power part of the thumb, but that's why it's probably longer than it, than it needs to be. So look, for nothing other than a bit of a giggle, um, in your comments, give us the length of your thumb from uh, the middle of the arc up to uh, the pad. Um, and uh, let's see uh, how many we've got uh, that will uh, the new lever will fit. Okay, another matter that's been raised um, with our um, accuracy testing was why we didn't test ADI. Uh, we did, in fact, uh, quite a few weeks back, and it proved to be very accurate, and we were leaving it till last on the day. Um, but uh, we had a, a mishap, which I'm about to explain with the firing pin, and, which is why we, we couldn't post it. Um, if you look here, this is the firing pin that was in it. That's the bolt carrier. And we, and between this back lug and this forward uh, thin piece, and the three mil pin is what controls the total distance of the travel of the firing pin, so it doesn't come out too far. And what happened to us was that after a full day of testing, um, this stop here, which stops the um, the, the, the firing pin going too far through the bolt broke off just like that, which meant then the firing pin could come all the way out of the, um, of the uh, bolt carrier. And therefore that stopped the day, it happened late in the day, so it's too late to fix. What we've done now is we've made the front and rear lugs, same travel, made the front one um, the same thickness because we're working with a uh, with a firing pin from another rifle and um, it just wasn't good enough so we've now made this one and we've we've shortened the um, the bolt carrier up so that to, to take into account the thicker lugs and 
and what'll what'll happen then is we've had to shorten that up so that the travel remains the same. So I think that that probably tells a story as to why we didn't show you ADI because we, we I think we fired two rounds and that was it. Um, so we will bring that to you again another day. Another prominent issue with um, readers and followers of the Eureka has been the end, And not so much the design of the end, but more about um, the talk of free floating the end uh, to increase accuracy. Now, that can in fact be an issue if a tripod is attached to it. Our testing has found that there's been actually no change between having the fore end mount straight to the gas block as it did when we took the whole fore end off and shot it without. However, uh, where we think that if that's what you want, it doesn't matter to us that much. Um, so the gas block in, at the moment is quite large and fills in the forend. The new one will be smaller and will certainly float it and, and the, the forend will only be attached back here close to um, the uh, receiver. So you will have a floating forend. Now keep in mind that any gas gun um, doesn't have a free floating barrel because it has a, a gas block and it has a tube or in, the, in our case a piston for reliability. Um, so there's a lot of moving parts and you can't get away from that fact. So to say, you know, a true free floating barrel is not going to happen, but certainly we're happy to free float the fore end for you. We've had um, other comments uh, to do with the um, mag release and the mag release, uh, why isn't it Armalite rifle style? Well, in fact, um, it will be. This was just part of the prototype. And, uh, but it certainly uh, will be um, Armalite rifle style mag release. So uh, they will be available without any dramas at all in that style. Finally, uh, probably one of the more significant um, issues for both you as a shooter and us as a manufacturer is compliance. Now, we have, as you know, a range of compliances throughout each of the states and territories. Um, and at some stage, uh, the authorities in each of the states and territories will come to some arrangement, one would hope, uh, but let's not hold our breath. So because of that, um, obviously New South Wales and Tasmania um, have a, um, a visual um, part in their act, as does Queensland, but they, they tend to apply it quite differently. Um, so knowing what we do know, we are working to have this firearm uh, legitimately purchasable in New South Wales and Tasmania, whether it be by fixing the stock so it can't be removed um, and not being able to use it once the stock is removed as a pistol grip. Um, the fore end, um, hopefully we'll have a, a, we will eventually have a, a timber version as well. Um, and the, the question is, because it's an appearance laws, it's very subjective. Um, so I have to try and guess how subjective each of the states are going to be. And as soon as we have to start making guns specifically for different states, it increases the overall cost, which is what we're trying to abate. Um, so at the moment, what we're doing is finalising the rifle close to the way it is at the moment. Um, and but we are in fact already in design uh, with other uh, stocks to uh, minimise the, uh, the the subjective visual effect of authorities and um, and see how we go. Uh, it hasn't been knocked back by any authority. We have been asked and by New South Wales and uh, Tasmania to um, supply information, and we've just said to them, look, at this stage, we, we are not ready um, because there's no point sending them a half-baked um, item for them to say no to, and then it becomes twice as difficult to get approval. So at this stage, just bear with us. Uh, the plan is to ensure that New South Wales um, does, uh, shooters do get the, uh, the ability to, to buy the Eureka Stockade, and certainly the same with Tasmania. So Bear with us and we'll get to it as soon as we can. Okay, guys, 
Thanks very much for all your feedback. It's been invaluable. Uh, there's no point us going bull at a gate and uh, putting out there something we want when at the end of the day, we've got to deal with the marketplace and you folk are the marketplace. So we're doing our best to both give you what you want and comply. So your thoughts and reactions to um, what we are doing is very important. So send us a Clint Eastwood, good, bad or the ugly. And uh, we'd appreciate all comments. Thank you.